Making videos, movies, short films is all about storytelling. And an important part of that storytelling process is the transition. The transition from shot to shot and from scene to scene. Typically within a scene, most shots will transition without any transition at all, just a simple cut from one shot to the next. But as you transition scenes, you are more likely to use some type of transition. Maybe you're conveying a change in location or a change in time or even a change in emotion. Mastering the art of building great transitions requires, of course, knowing how to use the tools. Let's take a look at how we build transitions inside of LumaFusion. There's a couple of ways to add transitions in LumaFusion. I'll start by going to the sources list, then to the transitions browser, and I'll simply drag and drop the cross dissolve transition between these two clips. And just like that, I've added a transition. Once that's on there, I can change the duration by tapping and dragging on the edge of that transition and making it as long or as short as I like. I'll delete that and drag that same cross dissolve in again, but this time, instead of dropping it between the clips, I can drag it to one edge or the other. Take a close look at the purple box itself and look at the illustration inside of it. Right here, we're seeing a bit of an X. You see one shot fading out while the other shot fades in. That's a cross dissolve. If I drag it to the left, so it's only over the end of the outgoing shot, you'll see that the illustration changes to show that it's just fading out. That means that the next shot is gonna instantaneously start as soon as this transition ends. I can do the opposite of that by dragging it to here, and so the outgoing shot will end, and then the incoming shot will fade in. Let's do that. I'll go ahead and drop that in place, make that a little bit longer, and then hit play. If I wanted to fade the outgoing shot as well, I could add another cross dissolve to it and make that as long or short as I like too. This is effectively a dip to black, but it's a customized one where the duration of the fade out is different from the duration of the fade in. If you just wanna do a simple same timing fade in, fade out, there's a transition for that as well. I can also use a cross dissolve to do a fade to black at the end of the project. By dragging it to the last clip on the timeline, I've now effectively built a fade to black. And I can do the same thing at the beginning. If I wanna fade in from black, I'll just add a cross dissolve at the beginning, and there we go. Let's clean up this timeline and show you another way to add transitions onto your project. I've positioned the playhead between these two clips, and now instead of dragging from the transitions browser, I'm gonna tap on this plus button down here. That brings up the add clip dialog where I can choose transition. Since I had the playhead between those two clips, it added a default duration cross dissolve between the two shots. But there's actually another way to use this method. I'll delete that first transition, drag the playhead not between the shots, but somewhere out here over the outgoing clip, select it, tap the plus button, and hit transition again. Now you'll notice that it added a transition from where the playhead was to the end of that clip. And in this case, that turned out to be a one second and 15 frame transition. What this means is that if you know exactly where you want a transition to begin or end, you can simply position the playhead where it is, select the clip, tap the plus, and add the transition in. If you wanna change which transition is being used, you can do that here as well. With the transition selected, if you tap on the favorites button here, that'll open up the transitions browser. So even if you aren't in the transitions browser up here, you can still choose a new transition from this window. But let's go back to the transitions browser to try out some of the other effects. I'll drop a default cross dissolve back on there and make the duration a little bit longer, about a second and a half, and then we'll try some of these other ones. For example, I have a burst transition. We'll play that through, and you'll see how that just bursts into the new frame. You may have also noticed that as I try these new transitions out, the custom duration that I had set stays the same. So this makes it really easy to try different transitions without having to adjust the duration every time. We'll do a couple more. How about a push left? And let's try a slide. As you can see, there's quite a variety of transitions built into LumaFusion, but you can also create your own completely custom transition. By simply moving a video clip to a new track on the timeline, you can then use the keyframes in the frame and fit editor and the color effects editor to make that clip transition out however you'd like, building a completely customized look.